Okay, <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you how to update uh, your theme from Drupal 5 to Drupal 6. There's already like the latest version of Drupal is Drupal 6.3. So it's a good idea that you update your theme also and update your uh, Drupal core from 5 to 6. I just updated my theme from for one of my sites and it went really smoothly uh, it took me like one hour to figure it out there are some changes that you have to be careful but mainly you just do like copy and paste so here uh, here is my site that's built in Drupal and uh, you go to your account to log in and go to uh, administer and uh, basically what you do uh, when you I'm gonna give you like a quick uh, upgrade uh, upgrade uh, info also you have to s uh, set your team your current team to your default team so it has to be garland I think and you have to disable all the modules you go under uh, modules for for version 5 because they're not gonna work uh, for for uh, Drupal 6 and for example if I would be if I would have like uh, version 5 I would disable all these modules there in this last window but now these modules are for Drupal uh, 6 already so and then you copy all the files but you 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 can do also the backup if of your database let me show oh i think you can you can do that you go to a php my admin and backup your database and then just uh um uh, then just uh, uh overwrite all the new files on your server uh, or write your old files with the uh, new uh, Drupal 6 files and uh, click OK go to your website for example uh, home page and go to update up uh, your home page uh, and update that PHP and you're gonna get this and uh, you 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 have to also it's good to s to put the site offline. Click here for uh, click on maintenance mode and put your site offline. Uh, make the site offline and go back and click continue and just update everything. And then download the new modules, but um, and enable them so they probably they should work. And everything else stay the same, but uh, the problem is the, is the theme. The theme is not gonna work anymore. So what I suggest is that uh, you go under. Oh, I have to move this window a little bit lower because I'm not uh, capturing it with my Camtasia. Uh, here, let me go to the to the themes and here you see this is my old Drupal theme and this is my Drupal 6 theme basically what I did is I just uh, uh, used the uh, the default theme for Drupal uh, called uh, Blue Marine it's not there anymore because I changed it to my name Reno and what I did is I replaced the images from my old team I replaced all the style CSS file from my old team the here nothing changes uh, also the I changed the so this is basically the blue marine theme I moved the images from my old team I didn't touch the block, uh, I didn't touch the box, I didn't touch the comment, uh, I 
uh, overwritten the favicon that I see oh um, I didn't touch the logo all I did was uh, change the page uh, template and let me go and edit it here what you can do is uh, just let me show you this quickly basically nothing really changes basically you can leave you can just uh, copy everything from your old team from your starting from head and just copy and paste everything from from your old team but uh, the the main problem is uh, that uh, something changes with the left and the right uh, uh, sections of the website let me let me uh, let me show you an example uh, 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 uh. let me go to the left section yeah here you have to be careful you have to change that uh, when there's like a PHP hook uh, that's calling the right section and it used to be called like right uh, minus navigation now you have to change it to right and left navigation you have to change it to left uh, that's the only thing you have to do and everything else is just copy and paste and here you have to also uh, if you want to rename your theme to your custom name everything uh, names are stored in the info file so it it was called blue marine info and let me show you what changed uh name you set it up to you set the name it used it was it used to be blue marine now you set it i set it up to my name uh and everything else is uh the same also you change but you have to you have to s change the template to your uh to like default Drupal template like uh, for example like Garland when you do these changes and then you go back and rename uh, the whole folder to your custom name and uh, rename uh, info file also to a custom name remember it used to be blue uh, blue marine now now it's changed it to Reno and also change uh, the name to Reno and that's it so basically what you have to you have to do you just copy everything you copy your images uh, the whole style CSS file and uh, favicon uh, from, from your old uh, template and just go you have to you can edit also the note but I didn't edit uh, and the page remember everything else stay the same and just uh, copy everything with including the hat and body and just copy and paste from the old team and again i have i have to uh, you have to be careful to change the right uh, sidebar to right and left sidebar to left and everything else is pretty much the same and that ju just go to the uh, administer and your themes and uh, just set your theme to your custom oh I didn't I have to make a screenshot also it's the screenshot from blue marine as you can see uh, and this is it this is basically it's it's really an easy update and uh, if you if you have any questions just let me know and i will help you okay everybody that's it for today bye bye